Hi there, I'm Andrea Koppel, and it's time for Coffee, the podcast where you get to hear firsthand what the jobs and careers that interest you the most are really like. Hey there, Java junkies. Welcome to another K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. By the way, K-Cups come in three sizes, single, double, and triple shots, or roughly one minute, five minutes, or 10 minutes in length. So if you don't have time to throw back an entire caffeinated career conversation, these K-Cup mini episodes of T4C can give you a quick caffeinated fix, whether you're on the go or you only have a few minutes to binge. So grab your mug and take a chug, because it's time for a caffeinated career double shot K-Cup with my guest, John Dedakis. We are here to inspire young people who are interested in becoming journalists and or writers, because obviously you are writing as a journalist, how you break into these industries. So the first question, John, is what entry level jobs are available for young people who want to get into these industries? One of the things I noticed at CNN is that a lot of times people would get the job and as soon as possible, they wanted to get on air. And you really have to pay your dues. When you're at a network like CNN, there are a lot of behind the scenes jobs that are important that you learn by osmosis. So being a guest greeter or a teleprompter operator, a news assistant, you know, there, there are grunt work kinds of jobs that will I think, inform you as to whether or not this is the direction you really want to go. But I think you need to take the long view and be willing to go where maybe there's not as much glamour, but there is an opportunity to do a lot more than you'd be able to do at a network level. At CNN, they wouldn't let you run camera. They wouldn't let you be on the air. But if you went to Function Junction, Utah, you could do it all and you'd really learn a lot. And as part of that, you would learn whether or not This is the business for you. And what about for writers? If somebody isn't interested, let's say, I mean, of course, you can be a writer in television news, but is interested just in the field of writing, what would you recommend? I think it's important to know yourself. And I can only speak from my own experience and what works for me. I journal a lot. I journal like a fiend. And often it's just the facts. This is what happened yesterday. But more often than not, I'll lurch into some rabbit hole of why did I feel that way? Or why did I do that? And so the more you get to know yourself, the more it informs your writing, because I think good writing that's authentic comes from a deep place. Fantastic. So next espresso shot, what is a useful skill or skills, John, that you think young people should have if they're interested in breaking into this industry? I'd say people skills. I think it's really important to be curious about other people. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Follow your curiosity. Who, where, what, when, why, and how. Those are evergreen questions that you will learn a lot about another person. And tangentially about the about the career, you know, just by asking questions as opposed to feeling that you have to know everything. What about grammar? <laughs> oh, that. <clears throat> sure. I think being a good communicator is part of it, but we're social. And so I think that good writing comes from being a good communicator. And I think a lot of people put themselves in a straitjacket thinking that good writing means fancy writing. Good writing is clear writing. And then that means It doesn't have to be wordy or flowery. It just means it needs to be effective in in terms of saying what you really mean. Thanks for tuning in to this K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. If you want to listen to our entire caffeinated career conversation, please check out the show notes for this episode. Thanks so much for listening to Time for Coffee, where the professionals in the jobs that most interest you always have time to grab coffee 24-7, no matter where you live. I have one quick favor to ask you. Remember to rate, review, and subscribe to Time for Coffee. Thanks so much.